Welcome to Off the Court, a show dedicated to making you the best version of yourself as a player and as a person. I'm Coach Jack, owner of Close the Gate Hoops, the number one basketball training company in the state of Wisconsin. If you're trying to take your life and game to the next level, this is the podcast for you. Let's get it. What up, gatekeepers? Back at you with another episode of Off the Court. Um, Today, I think we have an awesome topic that's directly related to um, results not working out how we want them to. And just a quick side note, I promise you everything in life is never going to go exactly how you want it to go. Um, And so what do we do when we work so hard for something and it still doesn't go how it's supposed to go, right? You put a grueling amount of work put in, right? But you don't get any of the extraordinary results, right? And you see all these people that you look up to, Kobe, um, and just these crazy, crazy hard workers and look at where it got to them, right? And it seems like you're doing that. You're working as hard as you possibly can. You're controlling all the things you can't control, but you're still not getting the result that you want or should expect, right? My father um, would always tell me, you know, expectations in line with preparation, right? So when we prepare really, really hard, our expectations are really, really high. Um, But the biggest thing that has been truly eye-opening to me in terms of this aspect is the illusion of control, is what I like to call it. And I actually might write a book on it. Um, But the illusion of control is this sense that we think we have more control of things than we actually do. And I believe that is the number one cause of suffering Um, for any sports player or human being in general, right? Is we think we can control things more than we actually can, right? We can control absolutely nothing that happens to us, right? Whatever happens to us in our life externally in terms of situations, um, we have absolutely no control over, right? We have no control over for it to be how we want it to be, right? Control means you have 100% um, autonomy um, with whatever you're doing right? So partial control is not control, right? So you can do things to increase the chance of performances being better, right? But that doesn't mean it's going to work out how you want it to work out, right? And I think this is the biggest cause for suffering is that people believe that we have more control than we actually do. And control is only 100% of something, right? You cannot have some control. That's no control, okay? And when we accept this illusion of control, when we accept that we as humans have all of these issues, problems, and limitations, um, and there's nothing we can do about it, right? We find peace because we stop trying to avoid this this struggle for control, right? When we have aversion towards control, we're trying to control things, right? We're super uptight about things, and um, we're constantly worrying about how things are working out or um, what we can be doing to control our situation better right? When we accept this illusion of control, our limitations as human beings, um, it gives us peace of mind no matter what's going on around us. And that's really the biggest thing I've learned, especially through sports, right? Because I have my own struggles. I'm still playing basketball right now. We're going to see where that ends up. Um, But this year, the biggest thing I learned, like last year, um, performances don't define me. And we have tons of podcasts on it from last year. Um, that was kind of the biggest thing I learned is that we can't tie our identity to something we can't control in performances. Um, and the biggest thing I've learned this year is learning to find peace in any external situation, right? So no matter what's going on around you, no matter how bad it actually seems, um, we can find peace of mind no matter what's happening, right? And this peace of mind comes from knowing that you can have peace, right? It's a choice with your responses to whatever happens to you around, to whatever happens around you, right? It's a choice on that response. Um, And understanding that you can have peace, right? You don't have to feel bad after something bad happens to you um, is truly a liberating feeling. And I really think that's the biggest thing um, I've learned this year in terms of my basketball performance is I've been able to bounce back like no other compared to how I used to be as I'd get myself in ruts for weeks um, on performances. But I, I really want you to apply this gatekeepers, not only on the court or whatever sport you're in, um, but to really accept the illusion of control um, and just let go of that external situation, right? You put in the work, um, you did everything you possibly could, and just let go and do what the game's supposed to be played for, and that's to have fun, right? Um, and no matter what happens, say it doesn't go well, it does go well, you're going to have peace no matter what. 
and right peace is the highest form of happiness um, being in that state of peace um, but that's that's really kind of what I wanted to get to this gatekeepers in terms of the illusion control is just remember that you always have less control than you think you do right and the only form of control is 100% control so we have to let go of all those things we don't have 100% control over thanks so much for listening gatekeepers on this uh, really short um, podcast on the illusion of control just remember to accept your limitations as a human being and learn to train your brain to have peace of mind no matter what's going on around you right and that's really really what it's all about is um, just knowing you're setting yourself up for the future more than anyone else when things don't go your way right because it's life's going to get really really hard for people the older they grow um, for multitude of reasons but you're going to be set up more than anyone else when things don't go your way and you still can have peace of mind, which is an absolutely amazing feeling. Um, but just again, gatekeepers, always reach out if you have any questions. Our coaches and trainers would love to talk to you, um, but please spread the word of this podcast. Um, we're really trying to influence as many lives as possible, and you can talk to us and let us know what we can be doing better, or what we can be talking about more. Um, you really can sculpt this process and what this podcast is all about. Um, you just have to reach out to us. So thank you, gatekeepers. Stay tuned um, for next week's episode. I'm Coach Jack. We out, baby. Peace. Thank you so much, gatekeepers, for listening to this new episode of Off the Court. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please leave us a review. If we've helped you out in any way, this will do so much for CTG to continue to change more lives. Remember, our mission is to influence as many lives as possible. Another pro to leaving reviews on Apple Music is that you can also be submitted for free shoe giveaways along with getting shout outs on our podcast page or social media following that has over 15,000 listeners and over 150,000 followers. So take advantage of leaving a review that takes you less than 30 seconds. If you're a coach, parent, or athlete wanting to learn more about how to build basketball training workouts, look no further. Once you go to our website at ctghoops.com, just wait that seven seconds for that ebook to pop up. And then all you're going to have to do is type in your email and you'll get a completely free ebook of 20 pages on how to build your own basketball training workouts. Make sure you follow us on all our social media pages at CTG Hoops. Don't forget, we're also famous for selling the basketball training notebook on our website, specifically designed to give basketball players a blueprint on how to improve themselves. Make sure you check out all other CTG branches, including CTG Mindset, which is sports psychology driven, CTG Growth, which is more towards life coaching, so it reaches people other than just athletes, and CTG Nutrition, which focuses on sports nutrition, how to fuel our body to give the best results. So we have CTG Hoops, Mindset, Growth, and Nutrition. Make sure you go check out all the websites social media platforms and podcasts that these branches offer if you're looking to become the best version of yourself. All of these links are in the description below. Never hesitate to reach out to me, Coach Jack. I'm always going to be here for any type of questions that you guys may have. Thank you.